What's up everybody? I am Russ. I am with rwgresearch.com and I'm uh, out here on a Tuesday morning, I think, and uh, just kind of listening to the birds. It's quite nice. Um, I'm going to show you some pretty cool stuff in this video, but first I wanted to mention a few things. Um, a while back I mentioned that I was uh, working at my uh, soon-to-be church for uh, every day after work for however many uh, hours I could possibly get in in the day. Um, they were on a time crunch and all work was done by volunteers and uh, proudly to announce we opened on the 19th of August. So we've been open, what, two weeks? Coming on three weeks here? And uh, I'm totally stoked about the whole situation. Um, for those of you who, who don't care about the religion side of things, that's fine. Um, but I, I'm going to talk about it. This is uh, somebody asked me a while back, hey, why don't you post uh, your personal videos on a different channel or, or vice versa? And I, well, you know, this is my channel. I can kind of do whatever I want. Um, if you don't like parts of it, you don't have to watch it. But uh, for everyone who wants to know me, who's Russ, what's Russ all about, this is your way to find out. Um, but I wanted to show you guys something extremely cool. All right, I worked at this church. I helped out. I'm actually going to be running the light board. They have a pretty big, uh, pretty big worship deal in the beginning of uh, the service, and they've got all sorts of stuff. I'll have to film it sometime for you guys. Pretty cool. But I'll be running the sound, uh, the light board, and uh, you literally program everything. There's probably 50 to 75 different lights up front. You get to program all each individual ones for the whole entire thing, and I'm going to be volunteering doing that. Um, that is, that's going to be a really cool deal. And, and you know, I, I've been trying to find my place um, in that aspect of, of helping out in the church because it's important to give what you've been given. And uh, the Lord has given me a gift, and I'm just using it. Um, that's really all it comes down to. I'm showing, I'm, I'm giving my gift back because that's what it's about, uh, to, to show other people about the Lord. So, anyway... Enough of that, let's get on to the really, really cool stuff, all right? Um, so at the church there, this this church was actually an old winery. So the building itself was a brewery. Uh, before that, it was where the electric and gas was. And uh, in this building, there was some really, really old equipment that we had to rip out. Um, some of it was down in the, uh, uh, an old room that, um, I really don't know what it was for, but it had a whole bunch of stuff in it. And uh, the last thing we did after church opened is that we had to strip all that stuff out. Um, but the very first day I was there, I saw something that I would have loved to have had. And uh, I uh, asked the guys there, I said, you know, what are you guys going to do with that? Is that going out or not? And they, they didn't really give me an answer. And uh, two weeks after the grand opening, uh, we had to strip everything out of there. And he said, you want that, you can have it. So. Here's what it is. I'm totally stoked about this. Um, I kind of look tired, and I may not look as psyched as I am, but I'm I'm pretty psyched. It's just been a long day. Um, it's morning, but this is my like midnight or later. So here it is. This is what I received. Oh, I had to cut the video there for a second because uh, my camera was running out of space. So starting from where I left off, I was saying when I started turning the camera that. Uh, when you give, you receive. And uh, you don't really look for the receiving end, but it just happens. So when you give faithfully, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be towards a church. I'm saying like, if you don't have anything to do with church, you know, if you, if you give some effort, you're probably gonna receive the same. Um, but it works in the, in the aspect of church, that's the way it works. But in, in, in general theory, if you give, you should receive and um, you don't look for the receiving end but it just happens so that's why I have these things at my home right now is because I faithfully gave and uh, in return good things happen to you that is the way life should be so with no further ado check it out all right this my friends is my new variable power supply I'm going to have to make a few modifications, but other than that, this thing is awesome. For those of you who have no idea what you're looking at right now, um, this <clears throat> basically is a, is a Variac, which is a variable transformer. That's what it is, okay? This particular model, alright, let's get you a good close-up here. This particular model 
is a PowerStat Transformer Dimmer. This is actually designed to dim lighting, all right, and that's what it was used for. Uh, the input volts is 120, and the output is the same. And check it out, max watts, 5,000. 41.6 amps, all right? Now, the interesting thing about this a couple things that's interesting. One of the interesting things is that each one of these is 5,000 watts. They're both tied together. So these all together are 10,000 watts continuous power. That is plenty to drive my entire garage and all the experiments I have in it. So I'm totally stoked. Now another cool thing about this is you've always seen Variax. And uh, let's see if I got the one out here. Uh, no, I think it's inside. It basically, the Variac always has a big knob on the top and you turn it. Well, this one is remotely controlled. So, the motor in here actually controls the... I'll show you. The little gear and switches down here. Two, two limit switches and a gear. And that motor controls those gears. And basically, this... Uh, actually turns with the motor and two push buttons so I can actually I'm gonna actually build a uh, um, probably an adapter to put on on here so that I can just push um, and basically this motor it says it's got a cycle time of six seconds so it takes six seconds to get from zero to full power <coughs> so that's that's pretty cool um, so I'm totally, totally psyched about this, and uh, it's going to be my new, my new uh, Mad Scientist Lab power supply. It's going to be awesome. <clears throat> now I just got to find some, some uh, diodes and capacitors big enough to handle the amperage. <laughs> uh, I got some more stuff to show you, um, so I'm going to do that now. This is the stand that it was sitting on. That's the whole unit that it was originally on, but then it was sitting on here, so it didn't get water in it. <clears throat> I'm not going to go into depth to explaining this right now. I'll take it apart later. I'm going to clean it up. Um, there's the input output in common for both. Um, but basically it's just a, uh, a transformer and then there's a brush right there in there and it rubs against the top side of that. And uh, I believe uh, Mr. Iron D. Max himself made a video of taking apart a Variac. You might watch it if you want to learn a little more. So that's the stand for it. These are the two front plate covers. Superior electric power stat. Um, <clears throat> yeah, freaking awesome. Um, some of the other things that I got while I was there um, that they took out, I didn't really need these, but I brought them home anyway. These are just some pretty big contactors. The really, the really main reason I wanted these is because I think these are 24 volt. If they're not, they're 120. They're not 480, but these got some pretty beefy contacts. And, uh, you know, the first thing I thought about when I saw these, yeah, rodent coil and batteries. I got something else to show you on that project. So there's the, the two contactors I got. This one actually got all busted up when it got taken out. This one should be in good shape. It's got the two, uh, two, uh, breakers on it. <clears throat> this is just another. I had a, quite a few of these, but I only took a few because I didn't want all the stuff laying around. The, these are pretty cool. Check these things out. Alan Bradley. Awesome. And you know, I noticed something about all this stuff. These are double pole, four contacts. So that'll be very useful. And I think they're 24 volt. Now that one's 110 there. Some of these are 24 volt, depending on which ones I was looking at. So I got a, a, I got a bucket full of little transformers and parts and pieces and things and stuff. Um, so that was awesome. Um, <clears throat> really quickly before I forget, on the note of uh, using these things instead of that big breaker for shorting out the rodent coil with my batteries, um, you guys saw these battery packs, two here, well at work they decided to uh, take out some of the other batteries in some of the other units. Uh, there might be a two or three bad ones in here, but the rest of these are good. Yeah. So I'm going to be over 1,000 volts DC with these batteries. That should be fun to play with. Anyway. All right, back to the craziness here with the, the goods from church. 
All right, so this wire was the 24 volt DC wire. This stuff right here. And I wanted to show you something. <clears throat> I, I've never really seen, get a little closer to focus. I've never really seen wire like this. I think it's really cool. Um, this is, it feels like wax coated and then it's braided around the outside. All right, that wasn't the interesting part. The interesting part was this. Once you opened it, this was what they had 24 volt DC running through. Or maybe an AC, but <clears throat> this is what I thought was interesting. These wires, all right, each one of these is wrapped with string. So, check it out. These strings are perfectly wrapped on here. It feels like with wax. All right, so they're just laid on there. See that? They're just string. So it strings perfectly. Now there's another layer on here. Check it out. It's just the same thing. It's just strings, but wrapped the other way. And then that's it. Bare wire underneath. So the only thing you've got for insulation here is two layers of stringy, waxy stuff. And then another stringy, waxy stuff. I thought that was really cool. So I had to, uh, I had to bring a few pieces of this home. I stripped a whole bunch of this stuff out, but I've never seen, I've never seen the old wire like that. I think it's, I think that's really cool stuff. Never seen anything like it. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, the last thing I was going to show you guys at my work, uh, we had a uh, transformer go out. I decided to take it apart, and I thought it was quite interesting what I found inside. Basically, I found, uh, here's the shorted, well, here's the normal wire. This is why I took it apart. I should be able to unwrap this. And, uh, that's some, that's some serious magnet wire right there. Big, big stuff. Uh, here's the other, other one that I got out of it. But here's the interesting part. The primary shorted out, or maybe in the secondary. I'm not sure which one this was. But it shorted out. And check out how it shorted out. The whole entire thing is not attached anymore, but it's still together, and it didn't just explode. It just got hot enough to burn all the insulation off, and that's it. So, I thought that was very interesting. Uh-oh. People things and stuff today. Do I? It's just people things and stuff right now, so you can be in this, vid in this video. Oh. Well, I got, there you go. Now I can see your pretty face. You just woke <laughs> up, didn't you? Yes. Nice. Well, anything to say? I get to go to Olive Garden for lunch. You do? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I got to stay home, don't I? You don't have to if you're up. Oh, I'll probably be sleeping. That's not fair. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the end of the really cool, interesting stuff I had to show you. And uh, I thought you'd like that. So, anyway... Um, as always, give and be given, and uh, love and be loved. Learn and be learned. Yes, that's right. Oh, and by the way, I coined a term. Um, it's plasmatized. Yes, so you can note that. See you guys. Have a good day.